Okay, so tonight I'm going to be in the garden shooting a galaxy with a one-shot colour camera for the very first time. Okay, hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm really excited tonight because I'm going to be in the garden using my brand new camera, the ASI 2600 MC Pro for the very first time. Now this is the first time I've ever used a dedicated one-shot colour Astro camera. I have shot with a one-shot colour camera before, but that was a Sony a7 III, so not a dedicated Astro camera. So I'm really excited to see the results. Since moving away from the Sony a7 III, I purchased a, um, a mono camera, the 1600mm. And that's a brilliant camera, I absolutely love it, and I'm still keeping that camera. But to get a colour image with that, you need to shoot through a range of different filters. So either the LRGB filters, so the luminance red, green and blue, or the narrowband HA, O3 and S2 filters, and then combine them all in post later. So it does take quite a bit of work to collect images on a target through four different filters and then combine them. Now this takes out that process, so this camera should just point towards the target and it collects one image in colour, so it is a one shot colour camera. So I'm really really excited to see the results. Now there are obviously some downsides to this, the mono camera is going to be more sensitive to light, so it's probably going to be able to pick up more detail in the targets, um, but the convenience of the one shot colour kind of outweigh those, specifically when you only have a few hours of clear skies, which I get quite often. So it's going to be perfect for uh, galaxy season, which we're in the middle of, middle of now, it's going to be great for any um, broadband targets as well. So really excited to start using this camera, I'm really excited to see some results. So I'm just about to set up, um, I will show you that process and then I'll show you what it looks like all set up on my telescope. Okay, so this is my setup tonight. So as you can see, this is the new camera, the 2600 MC Pro. This is a dedicated one-shot color camera with the fan on the back. And um, so it's a cooled camera as well. Now this is significantly bigger than my uh, mono astro camera, the 1600, um, bigger and heavier. So I've had to slightly rebalance uh, the scope, but this mount hopefully shouldn't have any issues. So as it's galaxy season, and as I'm going for quite a distant target tonight, I'm gonna to be shooting with my bigger scope, the Skywatcher 190mm. So it's got the thousand millimeter focal length. As always, I've got the, uh, the ASI Air Pro guiding. I have the 290 mini guide cam and just the generic 60mm guide scope um, all on top of the Skywatcher NEQ6 Pro. Okay, so first light with the 2600 is going to be on the Pinwheel Galaxy. Now I have shot this target before, but that was with the Sony A7 III. So I'm really excited to see what a difference it makes having a dedicated astro camera. Theoretically, it has less sensors in front of the camera and it should let in more of a wider wave band of light. So it should let in more hydrogen alpha, for example, and we should be able to pick up more colours, specifically reds in some of the deep space targets. So I'm looking forward to seeing the difference between the two images. I'm going to be shooting five minute exposures. I'm going to be shooting at ISO 100, which I think is Unity game for this camera. And that's what I've read online is the, the best setting to use. So I'm going to try that out to, to begin with. Um, and I'm going to have the camera set at, um, or cooled to minus 10 degrees. So um, yeah, hopefully that, that works out quite well. Now the, um, the target itself, the Pinball Galaxy is in the constellation Ursa Major. It's about 21 million light years away. Um, so quite a distant target, um, but it is high in the sky most of the night. So Ursa Major is nice and high at the moment um, and it should stay visible most of the night. Clouds are due to roll in about half past 12, 1 o'clock, so um, hopefully it stays clear until then. I can get a couple of hours of data and test out my new camera. I'll show you the results at the end of the video.